Welcome back to Site Tech Inner Mountain Earthworks training videos. In this video, we're going to build an infill design alignment and section. So, from my job setup, I'm going to leave it on infill in the mode, and I'm going to come down to design and hit the black box to the right. And I'm going to create a new one. So, we've got the level, the slope, and the alignment and section. In alignment and section, we're going to go ahead and build ourselves a V-ditch that we can dig in the middle of this pad right here. I can either use points that have been sent to me from a data collector, I can use points that I've recorded with this machine, or I can use the focus point here and create my own points. And that's what we're going to do in this scenario. So I'm going to hit the red focus point right here. Creating a design in here is a step one of three option. There is a lot of information in here, so if any of you have never done infill designs, it does take a little bit of practice and a little bit of doing it a couple different times to get it figured out. We'll, but we'll create a simple alignment and a simple slope inside that, and we'll dig it. So step one is creating the alignment. Right now I've got zero, zero. It's gonna start creating the alignment off of whatever focus point I wanna use off of my bucket, left or the right, the left or the middle. So if I want to reach out here and start my alignment right at the middle of the bucket right there, I'm going to hit this blue icon, which is going to create my very first point, northing, easting, and elevation. Now what I can do is start moving to the different spots that I want to create my alignment. Don't worry too much about the elevation at this point. We can edit the elevations in fact, you can edit all of the numbers, but the way I like to do infill the designs is to get my alignment established and adjust the elevation after. So if I want to take this one right here, I simply hit this the circle with the plus on it again, and it's starting to create my alignment. It will also give me distances and bearings. So now what I can do is continue to spin around and make my alignment. So as many as I take here, it will continue to create points. The beauty of this is it's not like depth and slope or, or uh, point to point where you're actually limited by just a single point. So I'm going to hit a couple more here. But to demonstrate to you, it doesn't matter what the elevation is. I'm going to record this one up in the air a little bit higher. So I'm going to take one more right there. Then I'm going to spin around and say, I want to start kind of bending back behind me here. I'm going to do one that's down a little bit lower again right here. And then we'll create another one to finish out our alignment. This one I will create right here and say, that's where I want my ditch to stop. So we'll hit plus. Now that I've got an alignment built here, we'll spin back around and get set back up with our alignment where I started. It doesn't matter if you actually get lined back up with it. I just, when I'm done, it'll make more sense. So now that I've got my alignment set right here, you do have the ability to edit these. So on the right bottom here, you can see we're on plan view. There is L elevation. So if we go to a cross section, you can see where my first, last, and each one of those points was. And you can see that one that I left really high in the air right there. You can go to each one of these knobs and change the elevation individually if you need to. From the plan view, you can come and actually change here where you've got northing easting elevation. You can change this from edit coordinate to edit segment. So you have the ability to pick segments out of this section right here. For example, that one. And you can edit the angles and the distances in between those. If you feel like everything is built right, but you don't like the elevation, you can come into elevation, and let's say that I want to actually leave that high point. There was a reason for that. I'm just going to show you a scenario. You can select the yellow in between two different points to correct that elevation without manually changing it. So if you pick those two and say, I want it to go straight in between those two, there's an icon down here at the bottom that 
I don't know how to describe it. It has the the dots kind of up and down on it. If you touch that one, it straightens the elevation in between those two. Now I could manually change those elevations by doing the same thing. It just allows you to elevate and change those. If you needed to actually take that high point out and just use beginning to end, you can do the same thing and hit that and elevate it. So if you wanted to leave that in there, you can hit the back button. I'll leave that in there just so it, it shows a little bit differently on the main screen when we're done. So step one, my alignment's good. I feel like everything's good between plan and elevation. I'm gonna go to the next step here by hitting the blue button. The next one is creating the cross section from side to side. You can either use the focus point of the machine to simply reach up. If you had a V ditch that was already out there, you could go here on to the focus point and actually shoot points up, down, and actually create a focus point section off. In this scenario, I'm gonna key it in. So I'm gonna use this on screen with the hand. This one is my Z and Y axis. My alignment means Z and Y. So I'm gonna build my cross section off to the right, and then in the next video, I'm gonna move it over so it aligns with it. So you can either key it in up here with the numbers, or you can drag it with your finger. I will go ahead and do both. I'm gonna key in a number here. So right off the bat, this blue button, you hit this to get the alignment started or cross section. And I'm gonna say, okay, five feet. I'm gonna go minus 2%, create a little bit of a flat plane off to the left side right there. Now to create my V ditch down in, I'm gonna hit the plus one more time. We're gonna go eh, six feet and we'll put in a minus 50% give it a little bit of a slope down in. What I'm gonna do, since I know that the very bottom of my ditch here is where I want my actual alignment, I'm gonna create a midpoint in the flat spot of my, my design here. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna create another spot and I'm gonna go three feet flat to create a point, and then I'm gonna go another three feet flat to establish a midpoint. Now, if I feel like everything I built on the left side is the same way I want it on the right side, I have a mirror image or mirror option. Down here at the bottom, I can come here and, and mirror from the beginning, or I can mirror from the end. So I'm gonna mirror from the end, and it's gonna build me out the exact same thing I have there. If you didn't want it the exact same, you could continue to build it from that same point right there. Once I've got a nice flat floor in here, I've got some slopes on it, I can go ahead and hit next, and I can go and view it. So if I feel like it's too big on the bottom right there, I can come back, and I can come back in here, and I can hit this back button to vid come back out of this right here. So I can hit a couple right here to get me to the midpoint right there, then I could mirror from the end and actually shallow up what I've got in the bottom there so it'll truly be just a six foot. When I come back to the next screen right here, this is step three of three, I can start viewing what I've made. This is plan view and this is 3D view. The reason I show you this is you can see that as I made that alignment, it made the alignment and if I were to accept it right now, it's gonna just have everything built to the side. The reason I made that point in the middle is so I can hit this button and actually align that over to the very middle of that align or that um, alignment that I made. We can do a couple things at the top here. We can call it our V ditch design, and then on the A and B right here, this is a lot like 3D line work. If you've done that, you've got an A on that end, and you've got a B on this end. Those represent the beginning of where I actually started my beginning point and end point. So what this allows me to do is extend this out if I need to go a little bit further. So on the A end, I could say, hey, I need to go another 10 feet beyond that. You can add 10 feet beyond that, 
and it shows a dotted line when you get to the very end there showing and representing that I've extended it. So then what I could do is if I need to extend the other side, I can do the same thing. I can put five feet on that side. Once I feel like everything's good, we'll go ahead and hit apply. Creates that design. I've got my V ditch design. We'll hit select, load it. And now I have the alignment and the V ditch that we made. And I can change this one to cross section. You can see that it's coming up pretty high behind me. The reason I did that is just to show you that high point that I created inside there. So if you never want that stuff in there, you can literally go edit that. If all of a sudden I wanted to change that at this point right now, I don't like it. I don't have to rebuild the entire thing. I could go to the shovel and the gear, job setup. I could go back into the black box and where V ditch is, I have three buttons I can hit edit. In edit, I can simply go to the elevation and I can change that and tweak that right now. I can take that high point out, level it out, hit next. Don't change anything else on here. Everything else is still going to stay the same. You're just changing the elevation. That's the beauty of infill design. No, no design, no problem. Hit apply and we'll go out and show you what it looks like now. Now we don't have that super high point in the middle. At this point, you can actually change your vertical offset. Okay, I want to actually bring that down two feet maybe. We'll just throw in a minus two feet. And we can go to digging. Now that we've got that, We can start putting our spoils to the side and start referencing what the elevation is. You can see that I'm pretty close on that one. So now what we can do is start cutting our slope in here. Once we're good, we'll go down and check grade. Looks like I'm pretty close right there, just a hair low. Pretty good right there. So once you feel like it's good, you can go ahead and check it either with the tilt rotator or you can just check your corner points right there. So you can see how close we are on that side. Got a little bit more to go and quite a bit more on that side. Once again, this has been a Site Taking Your Mountain Earthworks training video on Earthworks infield design, alignment, and section.